Hello there, I'm Miranda from O2 and I'm going to walk you through setting up email on a BlackBerry Pearl 8100 smartphone. Well, we keep it simple, so all I need is the battery, SIM card and of course the phone. We'll leave the cables, the manuals and CDs for another time. So, really quite straightforward, put the SIM card in the phone as normal, pop in the battery, put the back back on and away we go. Now, I'm going to assume in the setup that you have an internet email account. Therefore, you need to have chosen a BlackBerry internet tariff as well from your service provider. You'll notice right here between the keyboard and the screen is the trackball. You've also got the green and the red keys for starting and ending calls, the menu button and the back button. The numbers on the keyboard are laid out using the QWERTY style keyboard rather than an A to Z, so it might take you a little while to get used to the new layout. There's lots of other useful buttons on the side, but you'll figure them out as you go along. The easiest way to get going with email is to use a setup wizard on your phone, and I'll show you that in a moment. But it's worth mentioning that you could actually set up your email using the browser on a PC or Mac rather than on the phone itself. I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video. Okay, first time you switch on the Pearl, the setup wizard pops up and you're shown step by step on how to set it up. It's well worth giving it a go from the start as it's a great way to get to know your new handset and will also teach you some really useful typing tips and shortcuts. But if you decide to exit the wizard, you can always return to it later by selecting the applications icon on the home screen and then scrolling across to the icon for the setup wizard. It's a little phone with a cog icon. For now, we'll skip straight to the email setup. Okay. At this stage, you've got three options, but we only need to choose the first, and this is the easiest way to get started. In case you're wondering, the second option, BlackBerry Enterprise Server, is if your IT department or administrator has already installed the BlackBerry Server software. If so, they should be able to provide you with the password and setup instructions. So, let's choose option one. I want to create or add an email address. Just click the next button and you'll be notified that a web page will open. Then click next again. You'll notice that the requesting bar as it loads to show you the progress. You'll be prompted with the obligatory legals. And then you're prompted to enter your email address and password. Now this is going to be your usual email address. For example, miranda02 at yahoo.co.uk. You can hold down the alt key for numbers, dots and dashes and you can insert the at symbol by simply hitting the space button. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, if you have a business email address such as name at company.com, there are a couple more steps. For now, follow these instructions and I'll cover those after this setup. So, enter the password in multi-tap mode. Simply tap the key once or twice to choose the right character. And if you hit the wrong key or think you've made a mistake, hit the delete key and try again. So when you're done, key next. And that's it. For most email accounts like Google Gmail and Yahoo Mail, this is all you need to do. You're sent an email confirming your settings are activated successfully and an icon is added to the home screen. So if you decide to register other email accounts, you can separate them out. Emails will now be automatically delivered to your BlackBerry Pearl along with any attachments. As well as reading them, you can do all the usual things, such as replying, forwarding, or composing new emails. You'll always find the options available by hitting the menu button. And you can always personalise the device by clicking on the spanner icon for options. Right, if you have a personalised email address, you need to add a few more details to tell you the BlackBerry system where your email is stored. You'll need to know your username and incoming server details. If you use Outlook, these should be in the Mail Setup area under Options. So, Let's link a second email account. Load the setup wizard, jump to email setup and choose the first option again. Now select add an email account. Type in your email address and password as before. This time you get a message saying that it was unable to configure. So you need to select I will add the settings and next. Select what type of account it is. In this case it's an internet service provider rather than exchange. 
So if you know your settings, the easiest option is to provide them. Remember the details we saw in the Outlook settings? Now this is where I get the username and email server settings from. My username is the same as my email address, so I'll copy and paste it in to save me retyping. It's remembered the password that I typed earlier, and my email server is pop.1and1.co.uk. Hey presto, you receive confirmation that this email account is now set up and another icon is added to the home screen. Emails will now arrive automatically for this account as well. As I mentioned earlier, you can also set up email via your PC or Mac. First though, you need to make a note of two numbers, the PIN and the IMEI numbers. You'll find these on the side of the box that your BlackBerry came in. Now, if you don't have the box, you can find it like this. To go to the Applications icon on the home page, then the Options icon on the menu, which looks like a spanner, and select Status. There we are, your PIN and IMEI numbers. Now, let's make a note of these two numbers, and then we go to www.o2email.co.uk. OK, now let's choose New Account. Enter the PIN and IMEI numbers, then follow the prompts to create a new or existing email address. Whether you do it via your device or computer, it really is quite simple. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please do tell a colleague or visit youtube.com forward slash viz email for more of them.